The article titled, Phoneme Discrimination of an Unrelated Language, Evidence for a Narrow Transfer but Not a Broad-Based Bilingual Advantage by Lawrence Patihis, Janet S. O. and Tayopa Mogulner, published in the International Journal of Bilingualism, investigates whether bilingualism provides a broad-based advantage in phoneme discrimination of an unfamiliar language, specifically Korean. The study compares monolingual English speakers, bilingual Spanish English speakers, bilingual Armenian English speakers, and trilingual speakers. The study explores whether bilingualism leads to increased flexibility in phonological categorization, which could result in a broad-based advantage for phoneme discrimination. Previous research has shown mixed results regarding bilingual advantages in phoneme discrimination, with some studies suggesting a broad-based advantage and others indicating a narrow transfer advantage specific to languages with similar phonemic categories. The study involved 56 adult participants divided into four groups, monolingual English, bilingual Spanish English, bilingual Armenian English, and trilingual speakers. The participants were tested on their ability to discriminate Korean stop consonants, which include lenis, tense, and aspirated distinctions. The Korean phoneme discrimination task was programmed in E-Prime 2.0 software and involved an ABX technique where participants heard two different words, A and B, and then a second speaker saying one of the first two words, X, and they had to indicate whether X matched A or B. The results showed that Spanish-English bilinguals scored no better than English monolinguals and lower than Armenian English bilinguals. The Armenian English bilinguals and trilinguals, who were fluent in languages with similar phonemic distinctions to Korean, performed better on the Korean phoneme discrimination task. This suggests that the advantage from early childhood non-English exposure or current bilingualism is specific to languages with similar phonemic categories, supporting a narrow transfer view of phoneme discrimination skills. A positive relationship was found between early exposure to Armenian and accuracy on the Korean phoneme discrimination task. No significant correlation was found between early exposure to non-English languages without aspirated versus non-aspirated stop consonant distinctions and accuracy on the task. The number of languages heard during early childhood correlated positively with overall accuracy, but this correlation disappeared when excluding participants fluent in languages with aspirated distinctions. Current fluency. Participants fluent in languages with aspirated versus non-aspirated distinctions scored higher on the Korean phoneme discrimination task. Spanish-English bilinguals showed no advantage over English monolinguals on any of the phoneme contrasts analyzed. Armenian-English bilinguals and trilinguals with similar phonemic distinctions to Korean performed better than Spanish-English bilinguals. Discussion the study concludes that there is little or no evidence for a general bilingual or trilingual advantage in distinguishing phonemes of an unfamiliar language. The advantage is specific to experience with languages that are phonologically similar to the target language. This supports a narrow transfer mechanism where phoneme distinction boundaries are relatively stable and set in a way that allows for better discrimination of similar contrasts in unrelated languages. Implications the findings suggest that exposing children to many languages to increase general phonemic categorization flexibility may not be as effective as specific exposure to similar phonemic distinctions. The narrow transfer advantages identified in the study can help some language groups when learning a new language. Conclusion The study provides evidence for a narrow transfer advantage in phoneme discrimination skills, rather than a broad-based bilingual advantage. This has implications for language learning strategies, emphasizing the importance of specific phonemic exposure over general bilingualism for improving phoneme discrimination in unfamiliar languages.